Welcome to WB Mason Presents the Joe Girardi Show. I'm Meredith Morakovitz alongside Joe Girardi. And Joe, before we take a look towards the upcoming week and the future with this team in the second half, let's take a quick look back at that All-Star game, Jeter's 14th and final All-Star game. So did you watch the game? I, I did. I watched... Uh most of it, and then it got to be a little bit late for me, so um, I took advantage and got some good sleep. What do you think about the way, not only the introductions, but when he stepped up to the plate for the oh, first time? I, I, I think it was wonderful. I think people have really recognized what he's meant to the game, and I think people applaud him for the way he's played the game and the way he's handled himself off the field as well. And I, and I think a lot of players look up to him and say, you know, we can learn a lot from this guy. And that's kind of a tough call for a pitcher, too, is you feel that ovation and you hear that ovation happening to step on the mound to let it breathe a little bit and, and Wainwright seemed to do the right thing there. Well I, I think he's a guy that's been around enough yeah. that understands the, the magnitude of the moment and it, it's not a young guy and doesn't worry about you know if I have to wait two or three minutes or whatever it is I'm going to be fine where a young guy might be chomping at the bit if it was his first all-star game so they probably had the right guy on the mound. What would you think about the, the mini controversy I guess you'll say it about him? You know what P pitchers are going to you know when they make mistakes they're going to say I threw a big fat one down the middle or I grooved one and I didn't mean so I, I, I didn't really think much of it. Adam Wainwright's a competitor and, and we've seen that from him and how he wants the ball and the and he understands uh, being in the World Series a few times the importance of home field advantage so I think it probably got overblown. Being that it is his last year do you think that he should have won the MVP in that one? Well I think you have to give the MVP to who they feel the most deserving is but um, I, I think the way they honored him was tremendous and um, you know it's good because I it's good to see him smile and, and really soak it in and, and try to enjoy the moment. And it's kind of funny I know I've talked to you about this before. Who do you think is going to be the next Derek Jeter in the game? And the guy that everybody's pointing to is Trout, and he's the guy that won the MVP. So yeah. kind of a, a passing of the torch, yeah. in a sense? Maybe. I mean, this is just a, a tremendous player um, all around. And has really handled himself extremely well. And um, you know, it's a guy that I think was born in New Jersey, just like Derek Jeter. So uh, maybe he'll be the guy. And, you know, obviously the All-Star game is important. Do you like the fact that it counts AL now has home field advantage? You know, World that's nice, but the only thing is, you know, as a manager, and, and people have asked me, did you have a problem with Dellen not getting in? No, because John Farrell has to do the right thing. He has to save a guy back, and it, the, the rest didn't hurt Dellen. But I would like to see everyone has to get in. To, to me, you know, if, if people vote people there and they want certain players from their team, and the score is not so important um, because it may only be the one chance that they get. And I'd like to see everyone have to get in. You could have re entry rules if you need it. Every pitcher, you know, at the end, you know, you got six outs to go and you got six pitchers. Every pitcher gets an out. And if it's a tie, you know, you, you work that out. But, you know, so I, I, I would like to see everyone get in. Do you think that'll ever happen? And how do you go about even changing that? You know, I, I don't know. I know I felt a lot of pressure mm -hmm. um, as the manager about who to pick and then how do you get everyone in and you have to save people back. And I felt bad that, you know, that I didn't get some guys in. And I remember, remember my one all-star experience. I was not upset that I didn't get in because <laughs> there were like three catchers that had to get hurt for me to get to go. So I, I, I wasn't, you know, as derving, deserving as someone like some of the other players that, that don't get to play. So for me, I, I just like to see everyone get in. Getting in, not getting in, regardless of all of that, Dylan Batances no. in the year he's had, what do you think it meant to him to be introduced for that all-star? I, I, I can't imagine. It probably meant so much. I, I'm sure his mind just went back from the time that he was a high school boy and maybe even before all the people that have helped him along the way and the struggles that he's had and the successes that he had to, to be able to say golly I made it you know I made an all-star team it had to be a wonderful uh, feeling for him and for his family